using a plugin called All-in-One SEO now. I like it so, so much better. David no. doesn't like, I've heard of it. I haven't used it. David doesn't no. like it. No, wait a minute, David. What is it? Go ahead. Just keep going. No, I, I, li I, I like it. It's easy for <laughs> me with my visuals. Right. Uh, even down to helping me with like my uh, headline. Um, just a little tweaks to, you know, but please tell me what your critique of that is because your reaction. So I, I will, I will premise this by saying I have not used all on SEO for two or three years, which okay. is obviously the ancient history and WordPress world. Um, so it maybe has a significantly better than it used to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, the issues I once had with it were that the, the XML sitemap is incorrect. Mm. Um, the, they don't offer things that I think Yext does really well. Yoast. Yoast. Yoast does really well, not Yext. Yoast <laughs> does really well out of the box, like schema. Mm -hmm. um, they ha they have all kinds of peripheral plugins to add that can do some of these things, but I know that there was time when we were talking about maybe we don't like yet uh, Yoast anymore, but I still use it and still like it. I am suspect because Trish pointed out to me that it's been purchased by a company that's a real profit monger. And mm -hmm. just the other week, they've sent out an email, rates are going up. I don't blame a company for making money. Like, good, make money. That's, mm -hmm. you put the work into it, get a, get a return on your investment, that's fine. What I do care about is that the quality maintains the same yeah. as it's worthwhile. That's mm -hmm. kind of what I'm concerned about based on who purchased them is the quality. Right, so if, 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 all-in-one SEO is good, then I'd put it into my list of plugins to consider if I have to move away from Yoast. But well, right yeah. now, for and for me, because of course we're talking about vastly different experience here. <laughs> um, it is working well because, like I said, I can tweak my headline, and you know how much difference just that little bit right there can make uh, with your SEO. And, you know, of course, just like Yo's did, you know, how many, uh, how long is your title? How long is your meta description? You know, all of those things. Um, it, um, it gives me uh, an opportunity to, um, rather than, well, I guess in Yoshi you could do the same thing, but I can set it to where it always uses my excerpt rather than me having to sit there and think of what to put in a description. You know, that just works for me. I probably, you know, again, that's probably a feature in Yoast. I never saw it. And I just, you know, uh, but it, it kind of helps keep me uh, going in a good direction. And the last couple things I've posted, it's really looked like I'm going, you know, making the right path towards getting where I want to be. Um, where I'm at, words I'd really like to get higher up there, they're going to be difficult. You know, I'm a little guy in a big pond. It's going to be really difficult. But interestingly enough, there are some, you know, and this probably sounds like a big deal, but there are a couple keywords that I've actually gotten in the top 100. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, so that's a celebration for me. You know, so I am keep working at it, trying to figure it out, you know, the whole keyword thing, because it's like, yeah, I can go out there and pull in some keywords and then 
try to figure out what to write based on the keywords, but I do just the opposite. I write and then try to figure out what keywords actually goes with this content. And that's probably backwards. It's probably not the way anybody will tell you you're supposed to do it, but I feel like my writing is better quality because I'm writing. I'm not writing to keywords. Does that make sense? No, it's, there's a lot in that. And I could, I wrote come notes because there's a lot to talk about in there. But pardon me, let me circle back to the plugin. If, if all in one SEO works for you, use it. Like it's not gonna hurt you. It might not be my preference, but like if that works, we just go for it, right? Like I, it, it's okay. We we I think we can all agree that SEO is about a lot more than just putting a plug in on a site, right? Because yes. I've heard people say, "Oh, I do SEO. I put the plug in on my site." No, 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 and no, some no, don't no, do no, anything no, with no. it. They don't turn well, it on. Yeah. Well, that's the other side. <laughs> they put, right, they put right. the plug in, and that's it. That's on yeah. there. Yeah. My my buddy Steve, who I think some of you know. Uh, he his one of his favorite clients didn't call me for SEO. They called someone else. And Steve was on the call and he asked him, what are you going to do for SEO? They said, well, we're going to put Yoast on the site. And I'm like, and Steve knew enough to know, like, no, these people <laughs> don't know what they're doing. And, but anyway, they still didn't call me, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, we agree. So, yeah, so don't be discouraged. Just because I say, oh, I don't like that one doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. It just means... There might be other better options, but frankly, if it works with the way you do things and it is easy for you to use, that's probably better than trying to start over and learn something new, right? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of why I've not bothered to learn another thing like rank math or some of the others that are out there. It's just like, you know what? Yoast does great for now. I'm not going to take the time to learn something new because I can't imagine that rank math is that much better. But so there we go. Mm -hmm.